Bom dia, Bom dia. Bom dia. From Bom dia. Lisbon today, yeah, we are going to go out exploring and we're going to have a full day eating. Yeah. We have the plan to go to some of the best restaurants in Lisbon today. We're starting off our tour today in a top rated cafe called The Mill. I've heard some good things about it. So there's definitely a reason for that 45 minute waiting list. You can see why it was worth it. The food was actually really good. Everything that we ordered came out well presented. I ordered a power porridge, porridge, which is very similar to what I would eat if I was at home. I find that porridge oats are a difficult one to get right, but they got the consistency really well actually. Not too stodgy. Still we enjoyed it as well. She was seeding all your peanut butter. I know, <laughs> yeah, she nicked my peanut butter. I ordered the Aussie, which was Vegemite on toast. And I also got a beautiful espresso coffee as well. Yeah. Coffee was amazing. <laughs> I think they roast the beans here in Lisbon, but they source them single origin from somewhere else. You can tell the coffee here was a definite step up from what we normally have here in Portugal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I got myself a flat white with oat milk, so they had vegan options, non dairy stuff. Papa got herself some herbal tea and also a banana bread that was packed with fruits. Mum, how was the banana bread? Excellent. What? It was toasted banana bread, if yeah. you don't mind. Banana bread is a tricky one to get right, and my mum's fussy with her banana bread, so it's a good review there and I almost forgot I shared a banana and peanut butter and oat smoothie as well which was delicious are you full up now I am getting a bit of a stitch carrying story up all these hills <laughs> backwards as well chips <laughs> no we didn't get any chips are you dreaming of chips chips <laughs> No. <laughs> the total bill for everything that we ate came to 24 euros and 20 cents and we're just walking it off right now on our way to a viewpoint over the city of Lisbon. <laughs> or rather a viewpoint over a construction site. <laughs> the view, the view's under construction. Oh no. There's a cafe there though. <laughs> More coffee? <laughs> Oh, this was another restaurant that we wanted to try out. We'll have to save that for another day. Ink Farm Food. Best falafel in town. Nice. Have you see a falafel next time? Yeah. Fresh juices, cucumber, apple, pear, spinach and celery. Come nice. in the summertime. Sounds like a summer menu. Yeah. hot-footing it to our next restaurant because we've got a reservation at one o'clock and they've only got 15 minute tolerance and we're gonna be late. <laughs> Eight minutes walk from here so we can just make it. We have minutes to spare so <laughs> yeah. do you think they'll hold the table no matter what? Yeah. Let's hope it's not too busy anyway. <laughs> We've worked up a good appetite on this walk. Yeah, exactly. Burnt off those calorinos. <laughs> Can you see it? No. Well, it should be here. <laughs> Found it. So we've just arrived at A026 or hour 26, not quite sure. Having a look at the menu, making our orders. I think I'm gonna go for the lemonade with no sugar. Sasha's just found that they do a Coca-Cola 
but a natural Coca-Cola. Natural version of traditional Coca-Cola. That might be interesting. Yeah. So this is Sasha's club mate cola, natural cola. How does it taste? Like Coke. Yeah, exactly yeah. like Coke. A bit less fizzy. Is it flat? It's not a fizz, but it's not a fizzy like Coca-Cola. Okay. It's, it's um, natural tea extract oh. that makes it this colour. So it's made of tea? And water and glucose. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, that's really I'm absolutely stuffed after our lunch at AO26. The vegan food project. It was rated on TripAdvisor as one of the best vegan restaurants in Lisbon. How was your food? Salty. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a natural Coca Cola, which I've not seen before, and to be honest, that was the best part for me. I yeah. enjoyed that. I haven't drunk Coke for such a long time and it was it was nice. I yeah. enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah I tasted it and it was actually really good. It tasted exactly like Coca-Cola. Yeah. I ordered a it was called a colour bowl. It was a salad. It had quinoa and mushrooms and broccoli in and a hummus. But the hummus was very, very salty. I ordered a Satan Bifana and I got that because a Bifana is a traditional Portuguese food that you yes. get here a lot but this was a vegan version and honestly it was a, it was good, but I don't miss the taste or texture of meat in my life anymore. <laughs> the texture was like meaty and it had like a kind of fake cheese on it which tasted like cheese. One of the reasons we went to this restaurant was because they had a vegan bifana because it was the traditional Portuguese food. It's normally a pork steak, isn't yeah. it? So we thought it'd be interesting to try a vegan version of it. It was quite heavy and a bit sickly. What I think as well is if you were to go to a vegan restaurant with a meat eater and they were to order that dish, they would feel happy with it because it is very similar to a normal burger yeah. kind of a meal. For me, not the right dish to choose <laughs> and it was a little bit salty. It was interesting though to have the vegan version of the popular traditional Portuguese dish. Yeah, let's find out from my mum what she thought of her soup. What did you think of your beetroot and uh, basil soup. To be absolutely honest, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> what was wrong with it? It was too salty and there wasn't any taste. No taste. And what about your sweet potato fries? Sweet potato was absolutely awful. <laughs> what was it? It's too soft, too hard? It was too... The, the, skin, the skin was too tough. Yeah. And there was no nothing taste in it. Was too, it was too thick. So you weren't happy with that then? No, bit. I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> hey Story, how were your chips earlier? Did you like them? Nice chips? Yeah. Good review from Story then. <laughs> <laughs> more food. We've just got some tickets. We're getting a ferry across the river to Casillas. First time on a boat in Lisbon. So the ferry tickets are three euros ten for an adult return. I think this is quite a short journey, I think it's only about 10 minutes across. I'm going to get a nice view of the city from the other angle. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs>
So we've just arrived in the little port of Casillas. You can see all around you that fish is the way to go here. <laughs> if you're into your seafood, everybody seems to be grilling it, yeah. frying it, you can smell it everywhere. Check out this view over Lisbon though, look. What's great about that boat trip is it's clearly just a local transport because for the price of like one euro 55 to get there and back you're getting that tourist experience of being on the water yeah. and seeing a completely different perspective of Lisbon but you're not paying those tourist prices. Yeah, exactly. So we've made a friend. Just taking a little look around now. Apart from the boat ride over, there's not really much reason to be on this side of the river unless you're really going to be into your seafood. If you're into boats though, we've just spotted there's a rather beautiful submarine here and an old ship too. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Story, what do you think of the pirate boat? <laughs> Looks like you can pay to get in. Four euros per adult. I see. Under three's Sorry, you just walk on by yourself. Let us know what it's like. Let's take the camera. <laughs> We've done 100,000 nautical miles yeah. on, on, on all our trips. Well, it's more than our car. Yeah. <laughs> 1843 was launched. Amazing, still standing. Right, today is not about boats, it is about food. <laughs> and we've got something very special in my bag to show you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that then. Oh. <laughs> nice place to sit and eat. Okay, so we think we've quite possibly found the most special pastel donata in the whole of Lisbon. And not because it's one of the first ones ever made or because it's got the best reviews, but because it's the only one we've ever found that's gluten-free, dairy-free, yep. and vegan. vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you could get an egg-based tart that didn't have an egg in it. So we're going to try it out today and tell you what it tastes like. We found it in a little cafe called Zarzuela, which looked just like any normal Portuguese cafe. It didn't have anything special about it from the outside that would make you think it was a special diet kind of bakery or somewhere where you could get something different. You would have walked straight past it, wouldn't you, Sash? Yeah, definitely. But when you get closer to it, they've got signs all over the windows saying gluten-free and... Dairy-free. Yeah. Portuguese speciality cakes and baked goods that don't have those things in it. So if you'd like to do the honours and hand them out to the family. Okay. <laughs> we've got one each. First impressions, they look a bit burnt. That's look a bit burnt, yeah. <laughs> Should we take that crispy top off? And this is what's underneath. All right, so as you had the first bite, what does it taste like? Lovely, I'm just finishing it off. <laughs> While you're filming, I'm just finishing it off. Is it soft, is it hard, is it crispy? It's just a perfect pastry and inside it's like I saw the jelly and it's not too sweet. It's, it's lovely. Okay. Mm. Now, before we were vegan, we used to have pastel de nata quite a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we so, did, yeah. you should be able to give me a good idea of how different it is. Yeah, I will. Ready? Yeah. It tastes exactly like a pastel de nata. Really? Really. Not even faking it. <laughs> it's really good. You don't, it's not quite as crispy and flaky the outside. It's a bit softer, but the inside, spot on. You wouldn't know that that wasn't an eggy, milky nata. That's the case. When we first got to Portugal, you started to go off pastel de nata because you said they tasted too custardy and you don't like yep. custard. I don't really like custard. And then I started to go off the traditional natas because I've got the eggy scent and I just I went off it. Maybe because I was pregnant at the time, I yeah. don't know. So we haven't had a nata for a very long time. This is good. Normally you'd get a little bit of cinnamon on the top, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think it's that. missing that because actually they did have them in the shop. Yeah. But because we got them to go, we didn't get a chance to put the cinnamon on. But yeah, it, well, I think it would be good with a bit of cinnamon on the top to make did. it that authentic taste. They are a bit more expensive than a normal nata, quite a bit more. They're two euros eighty for one. You're right, you know. He wouldn't know. <laughs> the inside of it tastes exactly like a pastel de nata. Yeah. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It even looks authentic, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought because it was gluten free that the pastry was going to be really soggy, but it's not, is it? It's not soggy, but it definitely isn't as crispy as the traditional nut. That's true, but I have had traditional ones that are this kind of texture yeah. as well. Mom. You don't like the cake? I feel like 
stick. You put your dry sticks, do you? <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we proved today that even if you have a different kind of diet or you've got some food intolerances, you don't have to miss out on Portuguese food. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth is full. So the day is starting to round off to a close now, and that means it's time for us to go and get a coffee. And if you've been staying in Portugal for any amount of time, you'll know that good quality, different, interesting coffee is quite hard to come by. That's right, yeah. So that's why we're here at Fabrica. I thought we had to walk all the way up the hill, but no. no yeah. Right there. <laughs> and I think, Story, you're going to go get yourself a hot meal, can't you? Just a meal? <gasps> yeah. Wow. If you've been following our journey for some time, you'll know that we've been to Fabrica a few times before, and it is by far the best quality coffee we've had in the whole country. We've even ordered the beans and had them at home, so now that we're here in Lisbon, we can't miss out on that flavour. I'll have a flat white with almond milk, please. Mum's got herself a homemade iced tea. It's very fruity. I've got a cappuccino with oat milk. And I've got a flat white with almond milk today. Beautifully presented, single origin beans. Very tasty, very different. Story, how's your milk? Yeah. <laughs> she did that and everything. <laughs> What do you think of the coffee? As always, Fabrica does not disappoint. We just went and bought some beans as well because it's just the best coffee in Lisbon. Best milk in Lisbon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go home now? Yeah. Okay. So that concludes our day of eating around Lisbon in some of the best rated cafes. We've definitely got a tired toddler here, yes. so we're going to start heading back to our house. <laughs> but we enjoyed it. I'm full up. And I think we'll definitely be back to see if there's anything more we can eat around here. <laughs> right, Story? Say bye-bye, camera. Bye-bye, camera. Bye. -bye, bye. <laughs>